<clears throat> hey guys, so um, this video definitely has a lot of things that I wanted to say to you guys and it has something to do with the thumbnail. But before I get into that, I just want to say thank you so much for 1k views on the previous video of the tutorial. I think it has helped a lot of you guys and I hope it helps more of you. And also thank you for 171 subs, that's like a huge thing, like it means a lot to me, thank you so much. and. Welcome all of you that are new to my channel, but unfortunately this video says goodbye and that's because I'm actually gonna take a break from YouTube for some time. Um, I've, I've been wanting to make this video and tell you guys this a lot earlier, like around one month ago, but I could not. Because my gadgets or my phones and devices that I use for making videos were literally confiscated for like a month. And yeah, I could not just make the video and then it started getting pretty hectic with school and you know programs and exams Oh my god exams. So basically this brings me to why I am taking a break and the reason is like this year is just a very important academic year like it can Kind of decide a lot of my future and my grades and everything like there are so many big exams coming up and we have just exam after exam like a month maybe in between the exams and that's just like kind of really hectic like I have to study a lot and I have to just focus more and I can't like keep up with making videos and you yeah. get it I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are in school but I'm not sure like I've ever made the fact that I'm still in school like clear like hey guys I have schoolwork now I think that's the first time like I'm actually talking about it on this channel okay anyway about when exactly I'm gonna come back and start posting again like I'm gonna this break is gonna last like for months because you know this is an uh, academic year thing so I might come back maybe in December or even later after that or maybe even before like I might make a video for autumn but I'm that that does not mean like I've come back you know because I still have a lot to study and blah blah, blah. And when I do come back, I think I'm gonna make like shorter videos and not like 15 minute long videos, so yeah. Okay, um, let's talk about this beautiful mermaid now. Okay, I think this has already come pretty far in the process, but this is like a pop star mermaid and this is an outfit that I've been wanting to draw like for so long, like especially on a pop star kind of character and I decided to make it a mermaid. I'm just gonna quickly go through everything that I did so far, so. Everything is watercolor except for the skin. It's like alcohol markers and that's like just the base color and right now this this outfit is like basically revolving around this floral pattern I wanted to do like so bad. You can see the planning that I did on the side right there and um, yeah I'm just using acrylics to paint over the watercolors. So this is like something I do like all the time with the sketchbook. <laughs> Um, yeah, and I'm just kind of painting, mixing the paint for the blue flower. And I have already like drawn the pattern with like a peach pencil on top of the dark green watercolor, if you can see. And I had used some of the purple leftover paint for like a little bit of shading in the hair. And this is how it's gonna look like right now. So about this mermaid, it's like, I, you can't really see her eyebrows, but like she's kind of singing a sad song and the entire vibe of this painting is like sad, enchanted, dark. This painting like just really conveys a lot of things that I feel, that I want to do, that I want to be like, and just, and just a gorgeous outfit. <laughs> and yeah, and you can see that she is singing because her mouth is open and she has a mic in her hand and she's wearing this um, extravagant outfit which only like you wear for like performance performances and um, yeah like I've just been listening to a lot of songs and music lately I've even like this obsession has even turned into like me starting to write some songs and like just you know I already go for like piano classes um, yeah, I've just been venting out on music with, with music lately and this painting is also a low-key venting painting but also like Just trying to create this outfit that I've been having in my head like for so long I just think it's so magical so enchanting 
yet kind of has this sad but bold vibe to it that's exactly what i want this painting to do and that's what i'm doing so this is just me painting that flower because i've never painted flowers really like i don't do floral stuff that much and i'm just trying to figure out something and i just basically use the acrylic paint like the chunkiness of the acrylic paint to like put like accents and like stuff here and there so that it looks like a flower and then i added like the little white paint in the middle so it looks like a flower and then now you can see something it's like shiny so it looks even more enchanting and magical now oh my god i just love that so yeah this is how it looks i did a little bit more stuff i darkened the tail with acrylics and i even colored the hair with acrylics and used a colored pencil for the eyelashes and i did something with that pink tail because that wasn't working before the way it was and now it just looks way better it looks like part of it it looks magical and kind of a different vibe from the rest of it but i think it will work i'm just kind of experimenting with it and i decided to put one of those orange flowers on the tail because you know just to kind of bring everything together because everything else is like bold and dark and the tail just being so nice and pink and you know all happy and rainbows <laughs> So that's why I'm just adding the flower just to draw everything together and adding a bit more magicality. I don't even know if that's a word, but anyway, <laughs> to it, the tail. And it's just a lot of acrylics right now because this paper cannot handle watercolors. And I've already gone on a lot with acrylics, so no color pencils either, other than on the face. So you can see the tail here is like way darker than it was before i even added like a little bit of highlight like with a glitter pen and on that translucent extra tail thing i like you know did a bit of an effect to make it look like it's translucent and you can like kind of see her tail behind it all of that stuff's done with acrylics and i'm trying to put a bit of pink on that tail thing just so that you know it's all tied together guess where i got my reference from <laughs> okay so i'm just kind of darkening her mouth because she's singing and she's underwater you don't have your mouth all lit up i thought it would be kind of a risk but it kind of looks good and i even shaded her eyes a little bit put on a little bit of orangey blush and a little hair accessory darkened up the um translucent net thing she has around her um yeah i'm just kind of touching up the face right now i just love how this is starting out this is like like one of my coolest paintings ever and it just feels i just feel like attached to it because it i have like an emotional attachment to it because it just is sad bold enchanted and i just love it it just feels a lot of things and i actually gave her nail polish and that's like the first time I'm doing it on a character. I just like went in with this really tiny brush and I took some of the leftover paint and put it on her little hands and it just looks so cute. So this is like the end result and this is like some of the leftover art that I made. And I think it just looks so cute and it completes the spread. The planning for the skirt, that flower there and oh my gosh, look at all that glitter. So this is how it turned out and I added some stray hairs to make it look more realistic. Um, I might color in that mic later, but um, this is the end result as of the character and of everything I've done on that page. I think I might want to add some like self-made lyrics or something in there just to add even more emotional attachment to it. But um, this is how it looks. I just wanted to quickly tell you guys all of that stuff instead of just like disappearing and then not knowing why I disappeared. And all of that has also even led to this beautiful painting. I just really love it. I hope you guys love it. And bye!